Our species is the only creative species, and it has only one creative instrument, the individual mind and spirit of the man. Nothing was ever created by two men. There are no good collaborations, whether in music, in art, in poetry, in mathematics, in philosophy. Once the miracle of creation has taken place, the group can build and extend it, but the group never invents anything. The preciousness lies in the lonely mind of a man. Howdy and welcome to the Bobby and Garrett Songwriting Challenge Extravaganza Year 2022. For this songwriting challenge, we are going to collaborate. We will both be writing a song. One of us will start the song, and after one week, we will send the copy of our song <coughs> to the other person. For them to edit, after one week, they will send it back, and we will switch back and forth four times until the song is done. It will be very cool. We're not following any challenges like Garrett was with the last songwriting challenge. We're just going for free form out of the creativity of our hearts. Free form jazz. <laughs> free form jazz. We're going for Ornette Coleman vibes. Yeah. Without further ado, let's jump, let's right, jump in. right in. So it's time for me to come up with some ideas for my portion of the Scarrett songwriting collaboration challenge. Initially, I was going to use one of my many old ideas, but when I pitched this idea to Garrett, he threw a little fit and was like, oh no, it has to be a new idea. We need to be, we need to be fresh. And frankly, I kind of agree with him. So I started to come up with some new ideas initially, and I've always kind of wanted to try a song like this, like Story 2 by Clipping, where it starts in two, and then you add a beat to the time signature every like eight measures or something. But I decided against that for now. Then I was like, maybe I could write a song that just uses the bass or the mandolin or one other of my stringed instruments as the main instrument, because I've always also kind of wanted to do that. But I decided against it. Then I was like, what if I just do a weird piece, one of those weird pieces where I record a bunch of noises like kitchen pots and car sounds and chop them into little beats. But I eventually decided against that as well. And finally, I settled on a simple guitar and bass heavy rock song because I'm basic and that kind of stuff is a little bit easier for me. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's the beginning of the second week. Bobby just sent me the Logic Profile, and he also sent me some sheet music. I'm gonna listen to it and make some goals for what I might want to add to it this week. Well, I liked it. Um, he told me that there was gonna be a spot where there would obviously need a shredder organ solo. Not really sure where that spot is. There's a bass break, maybe it goes there. It's in 6-4 and 4-4, four, four, so that'll probably make writing the lyrics a little trickier, but I'll figure it out. The first thing that I'm going to try and get started is the lyrics. I don't want to procrastinate on those. These song lyrics are turning out to be ever so slightly inspired by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett's book, Good Omens, because I recently listened to it and my mind seems to be wandering towards that direction. In addition to the lyrics, I'm gonna go ahead and add more color to the song with this bad boy. <laughs> sent me a PDF of the guitar and bass sheet music and with that I created a little counterpoint to be played on a keyboard with echo effect. This is what it's gonna sound like. betrayed me never thought that I'd be stabbed in the back by the part that suffers most when I bleed hello everybody and welcome to the week three recap for the Bobby and Garrett song challenge thing 
So this week has been a bit of a doozy for the the song that I started writing. Um, So Garrett sent it back and he wrote some words for it, which is very cool. But he put them in completely different places than I was expecting him to. So, as I believe I mentioned in the last songwriting challenge, I kind of had a mental idea of where everything should go. For example, I wrote those little dun 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 things that were I thought would be the choruses because they repeat several times, but Garrett completely ignored that. He took those as little bridges, which I guess is fair. Because I always fall, I can't resist it all. I think you made me And fall. instead made when the This little section, the chorus, which is all fine and dandy, except that that section only happened once. So I feel like a song should have at least two choruses. So I went and recorded a recap of it here at the end, and I think that's pretty nifty. But even further than that, most of what I wrote is in six, and Garrett texted me about halfway through last week saying, I hate writing songs in six, and that he refused to do so. And I assumed he would cut this up and put it in like four or something. But no, he wrote the lyrics in four and just slapped them on top of the stuff that was already in six. So yeah, we've got some polymeter and it's kind of nifty, but a little different than what you might be expecting. And then finally, jelly beef. <laughs> Our dog is being a two. What I added to this is a guitar solo that's completely, it's two guitar solos harmonized on top of each other that I think sounds nice, and a little organ solo that I recorded, as well as this really awkward transition. So, that's the week three recap. Yeah. All right, once again, I have the song. It's the last week. Bobby lengthened the song, so I'm going to have to write some more lyrics. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I don't see anywhere that requires more keyboard parts, so all I think I'll be doing this time is recording some more lyrics and then tying up the ends of the song, mixing, mastering. The more that I resist, the tighter we are tied. My heart betrayed me Never thought that I'd be stabbed in the back By the part that suffers most when I bleed And it makes no difference To resist it all Because I always fall I can't resist it all I think you made me fall But when we kissed in all Never thought that I could fall in love With someone who I was paying for blood I can't explain myself, I'll be without control Some demon in my heart has placed you on my pedestal You were made to hate me and not to hate you But something I don't understand has made the opposite resolute It makes no difference No matter how I try The more that I resist The tighter we are tied the monk falls in love with the witch Heaven loses his soul when the nun falls In love with the Satanist The fire might engulf the world falls in love with the witch Heaven loses his soul when the nun falls In love with the Satanist The fire might engulf the world And I don't know Who I think I am my arrogance, I construct the world that I'm in.
stupid and reckless is me I can't control my emotions or interests I guess I'm ordinary Come again, you dumb and reckless And I can't control my heart or interests But I guess if I were this way then I wouldn't be a human Sadly this reflection gives me little consolation pretty nifty and pretty nice. There's a couple of things that I think maybe we could have added to make it a smidgen of a pigeon better. <coughs> One being, during the guitar solo, I think I probably could have made the bass line a little more interesting, and it would have, like, maybe even kind of melodic, and that might have made the solo pop a little more and feel like it was going somewhere. Just because right now I feel like it's like... It's kind of like a Bach piece where it just keeps going with a bunch of notes, but it, it doesn't necessarily have a melody. I have to say, I think the solo is pretty strong. I actually really like it. I'm pretty happy with I it. especially I like the in, where the bass starts. Ah, yeah. This little... Yeah, that I changed because when I started the solo, it was initially just something dumb like... Boom, 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 boom. It was like really boring, and then it came in with like those 16th notes on the guitar, but I was like, that is not a good lead into that. So I changed the doo -dee 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 -dee. Something that I thought throughout just was a little distracting, not like a huge deal, is the cymbal noises on the drums were annoying. Not my favorite. That's but I thought overall it's pretty good. It's think, better than some of my songwriting challenges, I, I would say. I think the drums are quiet enough that it's not a yeah, but it's not a huge deal. I think a couple of things that turned out really well that I was worried about was this organ solo. I think adding the vocals on top of that was a really good idea. And I think that the sound that you changed it to was good too. I was worried that this little ice cream truck sounding thing was gonna sound awkward, but now that it has that in the background, it feels like a more natural transition from the organ solo bridge back to our chorus. I have to say this song sounds more like a power switch song. <laughs> than the other Scarret stuff, but uh, yeah. but it's cool. It's probably better recorded than any of the Power Switch songs. Um, yeah, sadly. I'm gonna point out something that Bobby needs to appreciate right here. This vocal part has an echo effect on it that makes it harmonize with itself. The fire mining gold, the fire Did you notice cool. that? I did not. I thought that was just several different vocal parts, yeah. but that's really neat. <laughs> I was pretty proud of Very that. Very clever. I thought that we were going to add that little bridge part of lyrics back at the end here, 
but it's okay that we didn't. I think that worked. Yeah. Uh-huh. I what do you what do you lyrics. hate? <laughs> what do you hate about this song, Garrett? I hate that you recorded it. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> no, I I don't hate anything about it. I think it's pretty good. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, Bobby. <laughs> Based on a scale from one to ten, what would you rate this song? I think that I would give it. Uh, here's the here's my train of thought here. Okay. If I'm doing it on the scale that all these other judges did in my past videos, I would rate it one way, probably higher than if I was rating it <laughs> just as a just judge. as me rating something. I'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10. That's what I think it would be on if we're doing the scale that we used with the past songwriting challenges because I thought the lyrics were really good. Mm -hmm. I thought that my vocals were recorded far more exceptionally than past videos and the fact that there's guitar in it is kind of refreshing because I don't play the guitar very often. Bobby plays it much better. Pretty much every one of these songs on this album will have guitar in it because that's the only instrument that I play well. Um, <laughs> so that's where we're going with the that's <coughs> that's our new direction. <laughs> I think I think I let me let me see. So here's ten. Right? We've yeah. got 10. What did I say I didn't like? The solo? I like the solo, but it could have been better. I, especially, I got a little lazy when I jumped into the end of that solo with the... The little bridge. That could have been a little more creative in the guitar part. So I think I'm docking a point for that. But that's pretty much it. Everything else I was worried about turned out fine. But I don't want to give it the exact same score as you. <laughs> One slight... Annoying thing that I also thought was going to be an issue and still kind of is if you isolate parts is that this bass part here at the very end Was recorded on a different bass than the rest of the song and it wasn't as nice of a bass So this bass part does not sound quite as pristine as the rest of the bass parts yeah. in this song. Hopefully you, your brain doesn't just like listen to this ending part and be like, ew, that's gross now because I pointed it out. But yeah, I'm sure everyone I'll take notice. another um, 3.3 points off for that. So let's go with 8.7 for our rating. <laughs> All right. Our song score is 8.85. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to more Bobby and Garrett songs in the coming weeks. This will be on Spotify and Bandcamp and my Bandcamp. My Bandcamp has all sorts of weird stuff on it. Go check it out. It's so, check that out in the links below. Um. Bye.